In this video, I will demonstrate how the Siri 50mm f1.8 flares. And the first review that I'd done with this lens, I noticed that the flaring was very, very, very pronounced and it was blue. Nasty blue flares. Some people like it, I didn't like it. But the next copy that I have now, that I'm testing right now, you can see that the flares are very subtle. And um, the light that I have, the source is very yellow. It's only visible when I really shine into the lens. And you will see afterwards, I'll be showing you some real life samples as well, because it's very important to show really different scenarios. And also know that if you have a filter in front of the lens, it might affect the color of the flares or even how it flares. Here are the shots that I shot in Paris and I had an ND filter, really cheap one. And you can see that the flares are getting a bit purple and green, I would say. And I really think that it is because of the ND filter. I talked to Sony from Siri and he did tell me that they changed the coatings of the new lens. And you can see here the car is coming towards me and it's only when it really is hitting me that you can see some flares. And in a way, I do like that much better than having a lens that just flares at every light source. You can see that the cars that are coming in front of me have their lights on, and yet I do not get the flares, but I am getting a flare from the street lights and also the green light. So you're not getting a flaring monster lens. So my take on this is if you're shining a white light into the lens, not around it, into the lens, you will get blue flares. If you're shining it around it, you will most likely not get flares. Any other color light source shining into the lens, then you will most likely get flares that are the same color as the light source, which is great news because that's what I like. I really like natural flare. I think blue flares are great for sci-fi, but not for everyday use. So I really like the new coating on this lens. Anyway, that's it for me guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments below if you do enjoy this lens, if you like the new coating or if you liked what it was before and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. It really does help me to make videos like this one and hit the like button if you did enjoy this video. It helps with the algorithm of YouTube. I'll see you in the next one and stay safe.